everybody. Sean here once again with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness and my final installment in my long-running pumpkin beer review series. Tonight's installment, I've saved the, uh, the Bomber Bottle Edition for last from Heavy Seas Brewing in Baltimore, Maryland, the Greater Pumpkin. This is their pumpkin ale dipped in bourbon barrels for, I believe, a three-week period. And the bottle does have some good notes on it. Uh, the website's actually got a little bit more. So this is uh, has heady aromas of bourbon, cinnamon, ginger, allspice, as well as clove. Got a nice thick white head on this, pointing to the notes at least. I'm gonna, I'm gonna verify that. And normally, I mean, I've got a Heavy Seas pint glass, but the website specifies Snifter for this one. So I am therefore going with the trusty Dogfish Head Snifter glass. Hmm. Not sure about the thick part. That's uh, it's pretty thin. But a pleasant aroma. This uh, apparently includes British crystal malt, as well as brown sugar and obviously pumpkin. And uh, the bourbon barrel aging rounds out the flavors uh, with notes of oak, vanilla, and bourbon. And I'm glad I'm not driving. This clocks in at a hefty 10%. Encouraging. One other note before I dive into this, the um, Greater Pumpkin is part of Heavy Sea's ongoing Uncharted Waters series, uh, more bold brewing methods, and I believe is you know it's the 2013 version of this guy. This is what they used up until last year, their Mutiny Fleet series, also Greater Pumpkin. Also, as I recall, a significant improvement over the regular pumpkin offering, so I'm uh, looking forward to the two thir 2013 version. Cheers. Hmm. You know, the first couple of sips, I was actually a little bit concerned about this one. Uh, the flavor, you know, felt a little, you know, a little light, but, uh, as I got closer to the finish, I mean, the, the flavor definitely increased as the uh, as, as it went down and uh, as I got closer to the bottom of the glass, so I would have to say, thumbs up on this. So, you know, good, good job, uh, Hugh Sisson and uh, the rest of the Heavy Seas Brewing Company. You know, this, this one was definitely good, so I'm glad I was able to get a second bottle of this that I can enjoy at a later date. And uh, Helena decided to sample the second half of this and uh, definitely approved of it. She drank it um, a little faster than me, so that uh, aforementioned 10% alcohol content, she's uh, she, she's enjoying that, that at the moment. So, um, yes, good stuff. Um, Heavy Seas, I believe, has one more of their Uncharted Water series beers coming out around Christmas time, so I'll, I'll be looking forward to that. And uh, with, with this, it concludes my pumpkin drinking review experience, which uh, has been fun. I, I've gotten to try a couple of new things, and uh, all good. So, um, yeah. So, stay tuned. I will probably be doing a... Uh, quick beer wrap video, you know, summation, if you will, of all the pumpkin stuff in uh, the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. Until then, this is Sean. Cheers.